maraming salamat sa lahat ng mga sektor na nandito from the national and local governments, meron tayong mga representatives from the private sector, from academe, from non-government organizations, at lalo na galing sa mga komunidad natin sa Metro uh, Manila, uh, kung saan nagkaroon din ng mga preparatory workshops uh, para sa activity na ito. No? Gusto ko lang i-acknowledge, I would like to acknowledge the members ng Project Steering Committee namin, particularly yung galing uh, sa ibang bansa. Uh, si Benji de la Peña, Pilipino siya, pero nas based siya sa New York, sa Rockefeller Foundation, at si Mr. Jacob uh, Park Forum for the Future. No? Uh, yung ginagawa natin dito, what we're doing here is being done uh, not only in Manila and Metro Manila, but actually in, in uh, five other cities in the world. Now, limang, uh, limang lungsod ginagawa din itong pag-vision, vi uh, a visioning exercise. No? Accra sa India, Bangkok, uh, Chennai, Lima, and Nairobi sa Kenya. Lima sa Peru, no? Chennai sa India din nata. Uh, Chennai sa in and, and then Bangkok sa Thailand. No? Uh, Special din na, na, ano, na sitwasyon yung Metro Manila, we know that Metro Manila is faced with uh, many challenges, many pressures, no? with a lot of uncertainty. But I think if you want to envision what Metro Manila should look like uh, uh, in 2040, uh, we have to understand, we have to begin, dapat magsimula tayo sa, sa ngayon. No? We need to understand our current situation, we need to understand the drivers of development and find ways to understand the future. Uh, sa totoo lang, kahit na mukhang napaka-imposibling harapin yung lahat ng mga problema, mga pressure sa Metro Manila, the truth is the future is in our hands, di ba? As long as we understand the present well and move forward to, to the future. Mahalaga dyan, tulad na sinabi ko, yung inclusivity. Uh, uh, awan ko lang kung napansin nyo ba, lumabas sa mga balita last a few days ago, na yumayaman ng yumayaman ng gusto ng Pilipinas, but major part of that new wealth in the Philippines uh, nakakapture lang sa Philippine elite no? at hindi na didistribute sa, sa, sa tao. Na. And that, that reflects as well in how we plan our cities. Uh, so it's good that we are here. Um, actually, personally, I'm very excited about it. Um, and, you know, Ten years ago, I was actually part of a UN uh, United Nations process called the Millennium Ecosystem Assessment. And, and ako yung responsible for actually... Uh, reviewing yung scenario development work, yung futures work. Ano, ano rin natin 2050 naman ang tinitingnan, what do ecosystems look in 2050, no? And I actually really believe in a, in a futures exercise, no? trying to pin down for us an envision uh, for us so we can plan uh, 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 better. Of course, since we're doing this for the first time, we're hopeful that we'll also be learning in, in the process. No? And so I ask you to open, maging bukas tayo set isa, set isa. Uh, dahil nanggagaling tayo sa iba iba't ibang sektor, may iba ibang leksyon tayong dala, iba ibang lessons tayong dala sa karanasan natin. So thank you. Uh, we hope that you will be here for us, with us in the next two days and, and hopefully we will come out with something really good and something that really is really useful. Maraming salamat po and welcome.